What is going on, guys and gals of the Primal Crew? It's Big D518, and I am here today with episode number three of our Pokemon Blue version Nuzlocke Randomizer. In the last episode, we got Oak's Parcel, we brought it back, we got our Pokedex, and we got our Pokeballs. Uh, and in this episode, we're going to continue on. We're probably just going to be leveling up a little bit, possibly taking on our rival, but I'm not going to bank on that. But if you guys are excited for today's episode, and you guys are proud card-carrying members of the Primal Crew, Make sure you smash that like button down below and help us reach our like goal of 5 likes. The more likes we see, the more episodes you'll get. But, let me give you guys just a quick, quick, quick party recap. We have Sparky the Jolteon, our starter that you, the viewers, chose at level 6. Uh, with the moves Lovely Kiss, Rap, Lock, Rock, Slide, and Vice Grip. And our newly caught Pokemon that you see on the layout is Dim Lips the Seeking at level 2. With the moves Fissure, Mist, Mega Punch, and Sky Attack. And we are going to be continuing on. We're going to go over to, I believe it's Route 22, if I'm not mistaken. But before we do that, we're going to come up here and we're going to grab this item. Now again, items have been randomized in this. What will this be? If we had an Eevee, we'd have a Vaporeon. But that Water Stone can actually come in hand. You know what? I'm going to sell the Water Stone and I'm going to get some more Pokeballs because I only got two right now as far as I remember. So we're going to come back over here to the Mart and we is going to sell us. We are going to sell that Water Stone. Where is that Water Stone? There it is. So we can get 1050 for it. Whoa! Sorry guys. Uh, we'll get ten, uh, uh, six more. Now we have no money. We better find some randomized items. That'll actually give us some money. Oh, you got in my way, bitch. I've been predicted. Alright, this should be Route 22. Let me just double check. Yep, Route 22. So this is a new route for us. Let's see what we can get. Big money, no whammy. Big money, no whammy. And for Route 22, we get... <gasps> a slow bro. Huh. Alright. Okay, that doesn't affect you. It's got Psybeam. It has a stab move. Whoa, with your critical hits, bruh. I'll be bringing your crit city over here. How much does Vice Grip do this? It doesn't do a lot. Damn. Oh, you woke up? You're gonna go right back to sleep. I can't take you being awake. You're too loud. It woke up first turn? Jesus Christ, go back to sleep! You have no ability in this. Vice grip. Don't die. Oh, that's perfect. Perfectly set up. Now get in this Pokeball. Get in the Pokeball. Stay th Slow bro- Brother! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stay asleep, please. You're- I'm- You're in the red, even though this is black and white. Stay in the ball. And you stay in the ball. Thank you, Slow Bro. Only saw a side beam on this thing. Well, we got the Hermit Crab Pokemon Slowbro. The shelter that is latched onto Slowpoke's tail is said to feed on the host's leftover scraps. Either that or it's trying to eat its ass. Either way, what is a good name for this? I think we're gonna call you Ed. <laughs> no, I don't want anything else. What could we have caught? Oh, there's that Poliwhirl again. All right, let's take a look at Ed. It's got some good defense on it. Psybeam, Substitute, Water Gun, and Absorb. Interesting. Let's get back to the Pokemon Center. And we are going to go up to Route 2, but I think we have to deal with... Oh, okay, we don't have to talk to him. 
You know, I'm always curious if the uh, missing no thing would actually work here. All right, well, let's check the town map. We are in Route 2. So this is a new encounter for us. Give me something good here. Big money, no whammy. And Route 2 gives us... A Jigglypuff. Go to sleep. Doesn't affect me. It's got Vine Whip. That's scary. It doesn't affect it. Thank you. Please don't kill it. Uh, okay. That's as far as I'm going. Okay, I think a rap would kill it too. Alright, get in the ball. Get in the ball there, Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff. Alright. If this kills it, it kill. If we can hit it. Sparky. What the hell, buddy? Why do you keep missing... Alright, that should be good. Now, stand the ball, Jigglypuff. It woke up? Why is it going to sleep and then waking up first turn? Thank you. Jesus Christ. The balloon Pokemon. When its huge eyes light up, it sings a mysteriously soothing melody that lulls its enemies to sleep. That sounds about right. What are we going to name you? Well, I have a couple names in mind. Uh, but if I can actually find the name that I actually want to name this thing. Give me one second, guys. I'm trying to find the name. Is he not here this day? No, he's here. There he is. S H A N N E N Shannon. Sorry, Shannon, if you're watching this, but I doubt you are. Uh, level three: Swift, Vine Whip, Haze, and Absorb. So we're going to heal up, and then we're going to get our encounter for the forest. Uh, Shannon's not going to be added to the team quite yet. Uh, I'm going to evaluate things. I know for sure I'm adding... Uh, bleh. I'm not adding to the team. I know I'm definitely adding Ed, because Ed's pretty powerful. But let's come in here. And let's... You know what? Let's actually get the rent, the items first. An item over there? Nope, but we get our encounter for the forest. We get a, a Pokeball, essentially. Alright, go to sleep. Alright, wrap this thing to death. I mean, not to death. How do you how do you go to sleep and wake up right away? Come on now. Why? Why? No, I just killed it. Well, that's a dead Voltorb. We did get a level up out of it. All right, let me just grab this item really quick, which is an X speed. Not the greatest item in the world. And Gen in the Fire Red Leaf Green remakes, there would be an item there. Wow, you got some distance to see me. All right, we got a Pokemon battle here with this uh, trainer, this bug catcher, but he's not going to have bugs. He's got a Charmander. All right. Rock Slide. God. That sound is just irritating. And it's a crit. Welcome to Crit City, bitch. I spoke too soon. No, we're gonna stay in. Because he's got an Alakazam. And we're still outspeeding it, even though we're one level under it. That does 20. 
Oh, that's not good. Oh, he set up a light screen. That will be your downfall, sir. Because you may have set up your light screen. You just tried to set up another one. And your Alakazam goes down. Level 8 for Sparky. I just want to get a few more of these items. Oh, Caterp Caterpie, no. Just for the record, I didn't kill a Caterpie. I killed an Alakazam. Huge difference. Ooh, a Max Ether is going to come in handy for us. Uh, is there a trainer over here? Okay, guess not. So I know it looks like I'm kind of jumping ahead, guys, but I am going to backtrack. Ooh, a Scyther. Rock Slide. Crit, dead, bye-bye. I will be going back and actually doing a lot of the uh, storyline part of it. I just want to get as many, like... Oh my god, I could have had a Gyarados. Why couldn't I have had the Gyarados? Or a Pinsir! God, I got a Voltorb! Alright, let's see what this item is. Be something good, please. Ooh, a rare candy. Now I got two options. I could either sell that rare candy, or I can use it. I don't know yet. We could have had a Charmander! God damn it! Oh man, get away from me, Charmander. It's making me sad. A Lapras? This randomizer is awesome. Get out of my way, kid. I know you're sad. Alright, let me see. I can probably sell that X speed for something, or X attack, whatever the X move was. No, sell uh, X speed can go for 175 bucks. No, I can't sell the town map. How much is the max? I get nothing for a max elite elixir or ether. How much do I get for the rare candy? 2400. I'm not gonna do that yet. I'm not gonna do that yet. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna deposit Shannon because as of right now I'm not gonna use Shannon. And granted, it's not bad. Uh, deposit Shannon. So, I'm going to end off the episode here, guys. In the next episode, I will be having a grinding montage, which will feature our rival battle and us going back through uh, the forest. We're going to raise our pokes probably up to, like, around level 10 or 11, maybe. I don't know. I, th I think that will probably be a good level for us. Uh, but thank you guys for coming out and watching today's episode. If you guys did enjoy yourself and you guys are proud card carrying members of the Primal Crew, make sure that you smash that like button down below and show your support for the channel. Remember, uh, the more likes I see, the more episodes you get. Don't forget to check out all my social media links down below in the description, and don't forget to check out all my YouTube friends' links in the description as well. Uh, and I will catch you guys in the next episode. I've been Big D518, you guys have been the Primal Crew. And I will see you guys next time. And as always, guys, thank you guys so, so much for your support. And take it easy.